there aboard the boat as state and federal wildlife officials went back out to get more samples after DNA from the Asian carp was found in the Kalamazoo River near Allegan. 24-Hour News 8's Mark Thompson has this story today. While this was the first positive Asian carp DNA sample collected in any major Michigan tributary, DNR officials say it does not necessarily mean that the invasive fish will make its way into Michigan waterways. But they're monitoring the situation very closely. We hit the river with researchers this morning. The Department of Natural Resources, along with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, collecting another round of samples from the Kalamazoo River, testing for traces of Asian carp DNA. Okay. The positive DNA sample was collected back in July, downstream from the Calkins Dam near Allegan. The DNR says a variety of contamination factors could have led to that positive sample, including a boat or fishing equipment previously used in Illinois, material trapped in the scales of non-invasive fish or birds, specifically bird fecal material. So if they eat Asian carp in, say, the Illinois River and make their way north into the Kalamazoo River, um, they uh, excrete some of that waste into the river. Silver or Asian carp have been known to destroy ecosystems. They're aggressive and can outcompete native fish for food. And they jump, <laughs> posing a risk to people as well. If you have a big 40 to 50 pound fish jumping out of the water hits you, there's, you know, some some human health issues there too. Along with the 200 samples collected today, the DNR will continue to test in the months to come and use the results to develop a strategy moving forward. We're touching every pathway that we possibly can to make sure that Asian carp don't enter Michigan waters. DNR officials say it could take up to a month before they get the results back from the samples that were collected today. In the meantime, they're asking any fishermen who may be out on the waterway to report what they see. We've got a link set up at woodtv.com where you can do just that. In Allegan County, Mark Thompson, 24-Hour News 8.